Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Ida Markarian, and I'm a customer success agent as well as the onboarding agent, and I'll be hosting this webinar today called Getting Started. Now what we're going to be looking at uh, the agenda for today is going to be how to use the Administrator 2020 account, how the 2020 Design Soft License works, as well as the Awareness to Our Knowledge Center and Training Services, how to contact customer success, how to navigate the 2020.net, and how to use the help files effectively. So to begin, uh, what we're going to be beginning with will be our 2020 Spaces account. So this is your basically your cloud account. This is where um, you would log in and um, manage your users. In other words, uh, if you are the admin on the account for the 2020 cloud account, you will be uh, able to have this feature. So if you had multiple uh, people, designers, that will be using the license, then what you would do is you would have them create their cloud account, and then you would gain the Add New User option. And then you would be able to go and take off the license if you only had the one, and give it to that person so that each user would be able to access the 2020 design program through their cloud account as long as the license has been assigned to that email. Now, um, the way it kind of works is that every uh, license is associated to one user at a time. Okay, And uh, you just need to remember that you will have to sign in and out of the program so that it can release the license. This way, um, any other user would be able to log in. So if there would be multiple users at the same time, that would require multiple licenses. Uh, you will also be able to log in at least every seven days that will give you access to an offline um, connection, and that offline uh, access is valid up to seven days. So if we wanted to just take a look, basically, we're going to come up at top here, and I'm going to go to my 2020 Cloud account. So we can log in, and I will show you exactly how the process works so that you can see a little bit better uh, as opposed to just looking at a slide here. So once you've got your person, whoever is going to be using the license, has their own cloud account, you would simply go to Add a New User, and you would fill in the information here. Now I would be able to assign the license by putting the check mark, as there are multiple on this end. So if there was no multiple licenses, then you would take your email that you have with the license assigned to it, remove it, hit Save, and then you would be able to go into the Add the User, because you've done that portion either before or after, it's not relevant. As long as the person's name is here, you'll be able to go to the end and do the edit, and then take that license that would be floating around, and be able to apply it to that person's email. In, re in response to that, what would happen is that person would be able to sign in with their own credentials and be able to run the program. Of course, remembering to sign in to the program to open it and signing out to close it, thus releasing the license, as I mentioned. And as well, if, say, uh, said designer no longer worked for you, you would simply be able to come back to the Manage Users portion here from the 2020 Spaces uh, website, sign into your cloud account, and you would be able to release that license from that person's email or completely just delete the profile um, if that was uh, something that was needed to be done. Okay, so that's the general workings of um, managing the actual soft key. And we're going to also review our Knowledge Center. So this is a new platform um, from our website, as well as uh, it's embedded in our design program. So the Knowledge Center, like I said, it's our new platform. So we would kind of go and determine which product. So of course, us design. So we would go to straight to the design option, which brings us to our first page is the popular articles. So these are basically the first things that are displayed that people have questions about. And in other words, this would be something that, example, how to do floor plan or elevation. So you can click on them. And in other words, this is all written out and all the screenshots explaining how everything can be set. So this is in relation to the drawing layout. And if you need, an example, a little bit of help, uh, something more in the basics, 
how to get the multiple wall elevations. So all of this instru these uh, instructions are here as a new uh, platform to our program. And I'll also show you if you are in the design program, you would simply find that under the help right here next to the About 2020 design. So basically, it's to be able to kind of access uh, a knowledge base so that you would be able to get further help if, say, um, you might you know, not feel like calling in or communicating with us and you just want to get a quick answer. You might be able to, depending on uh, how quick you search or what the search is in relation to, that you might be able to find it here. And as we progress, these articles are going to be uh, filling in more and more. So keep the requests coming so that we can update the database, and this way uh, would be a little bit more functional for everybody. So basically, uh, the Knowledge Center is very um, simple to use. Just remember to choose the design in the uh, design program or the cloud, depending on what questions that you might have. And we will also be looking at our customer support and how to contact us. So of course, this is an important portion as well. We want to be able to um, answer any of your questions or help you out with certain things. So this is where you would be able to sign into the 2020 uh, Spaces website and then um, log in, choose your product, and also um, your market region. And then you'll be presented with uh, all of the different ways that you can contact us. So obviously, uh, we have our phone number, we have our uh, email, and as well, uh, you can create a case online. Okay. The important thing here to retain is um, that at the bottom end, we have other resources. The other resources are an important factor to keep an eye out for in the instance where you were uh, requesting maybe to just get the system information because you want to update your computer and you want to make sure that design is going to run properly on it. And that's why we do kind of look through the other resources and make sure that everything there is in fact up to date. And then we can go here and I will show you the whole procedure. So we will go to the 2020 design. We will choose our market region. And this is where we have our contact, our support which is our customer success as well, kind of rebranding here. And here are our other resources. So example, the system requirements, I will be able to click on it, and I'm going to be brought directly to the page where it's going to tell me, well, you want system requirements regarding what? So in our instance, again, it's 2020 design residential software. So I will click on the system requirements here and be directed straight away to the page with all of the information. So of course, this is a lot of computer stuff that most people are not familiar with. So it's a lot easier to just say take a printout of this or save it on your phone and then go and see if uh, your IT or wherever you plan on getting the computer fulfilled the requirements so that way you don't have any issues running your design program. If ever there is any issues, you can always call us in as well. And of course, that's our number, 1-866-697-2020. Of course, you will be able to um, even email us, so the email that's there, when you click on the link, it opens up the email directly. Or you can even create a case online. So it's just, you set it up, you send it off, we receive it, and I, uh, we do say to at least give us 48 hours to go through everything and contact you if there's any need to contact or just to reply back to you. So those are the different ways that we can contact our customer success department. Now one of the things that we also have access to, uh, other than the 2020 Spaces site is our uh, 2020.NET site. So the 2020.NET site uh, is our uh, database, if you want to call it. So you simply create your credentials, email, password, you log in. Once you've logged in, you will see um, our manufacturer update box, but just above it, you'll see support download, manufacturer updates, and the virtual training buttons. So from the support download, you will be able to get any new versions or hotfixes if there's any issues or whatnot. And then from there, you can begin a download and then proceed with an installation. The Manufacturer Updates button is access to all catalogs that are related, um, that are accessible through 2020.net. 
So that's not only generic stuff from 2020, but in fact manufacturer catalogs. And we also do have our 2020 cloud embedded in the program, which is our virtual based catalog. And we will be looking more into that on our second uh, webinar at month's end. And you also have access to the virtual training. So this will give you access to level one and level two. Now, the difference is, is that the design program is actually embedded with our training videos. However, this is only level one. So if you want to um, further yourself, or if you feel that you've kind of proceeded ahead with your level one training, you feel like you're comfortable, you know how everything more or less works, proceed to the level two training from 2020.net. And we will be reviewing the help tab. So I've shown it already quickly a couple of times. Basically, the help file um, is the ribbon help, of course, in the 2020 program. So you have your content, your 2020 homepage, uh, the content is kind of like a booklet, so you can get some information there. So different than an actual catalog, book, instruction manual, whatever you want to call it, to flip through. At least this way the content is readily accessible and you can also have some search options in here. The what's new, I always refer my customers to what's new, simply because even though you might be new, you will see what has been added to the versions and you can start up backwards. You can start up at the version that you are now and basically click on each link so that you can see what's been added. Why? Because similar to the Knowledge Center, it's all um, written out. So it's kind of like a little information session. It shows you where everything is, how to set certain preferences, how to use it, what it's for, what it's showing you. So that's always a good feature to have. And of course, the training videos, as I mentioned, you also have the forums and community. So this is going to be something that we'll be looking at at month's end uh, for our second webinar. So it's just to kind of show you that it's there, but we will dive into that um, on our next session. We have our support website. So again, that's bringing you to our uh, contacting customer success. We have the live chat option. So this in case um, you don't have time to uh, stay on the phone, you can send a chat and we can communicate via chat. And we also have the remote support option. Now the remote support is not the same as chatting. The remote support is launching the TeamViewer application that will allow us to connect to your computer, whether we ask you to uh, launch the remote support while we're cha live chatting or if we're on the phone with you. License information is pretty self-explanatory, so you'll be able to uh, get your information from there as far as your license is concerned. The Knowledge Center, as I mentioned, is embedded in our program. So this is where you would go to uh, review certain articles. And the About 2020 design is in fact um, also listing your license information as well as the version of design that you are currently on. So we don't have information about which version you have as you are entitled uh, being on support to have the newest, but most people, they don't like change, so they don't always upgrade right away. And there you will find your information. So that's kind of like the whole uh, turnaround of the help tab. And then, of course, if there's any further help, you know where to reach us, and we will be, again, reviewing how to reach us. So one of the other things that you can do as well is to um, get the training services. Now, the training services are uh, a little bit different than the actual training video. So I will show you once we're on our training site you have the option to uh, getting started. So you will see that everything is very um, much laid out as, term, as far as the uh, explanation of how everything works. So it explains to you where to go, how to start, um, if you wanted any classroom trainings, and of course, um, if you wanted to take a custom training. So all this information is here, and just over here on the right-hand side, you'll be able to get a quote or any information that you're re, um, requesting regarding the actual uh, training information. So everything is available to you. And as uh, somebody had mentioned to me, yes, the training in class is a little bit different than the actual training videos that you'll be watching as it will be going more in depth and it's um, classroom kind of set up. So the environment is is led by someone teaching the class. So you can kind of determine what type of uh, 
learning that you would like to do. One of the other things that we would like to say as well to mention and point out for those of us that are more uh, into technology is that we are on social media. So you can follow us for any tips and tricks. So we do have three platforms here, um, Tip Tuesday, Knowledge Wednesday, Sunday Reading. And um, if you needed any further information, you can always visit the 2020spaces.com and you will see that we do have multiple uh, social media platforms. We do have YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and as well the Instagram. Also, we would like to say that there will be more webinars to come. And if you want, you will be able to register here as well. The link will be included. And as well, that we will be sending up a follow-up email. So this way you'll be able to choose whether or not you want a one-on-one -on -one session after you complete the survey at the end of the webinar. And you will be receiving a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, everyone who has registered will be able to get a copy of it. So that's always uh, beneficial to be able to kind of come back to review too. And the advantage is, is that we've included all of the links that I have reviewed today. So this way you can have everything at your fingertips and be able to um, kind of go in there, open them up, bookmark everything, and this way everything will be on your fingertips. And this way, you always have access to all of the information and all the knowledge that we have. So some of our customer success team, we do advise you to please review all of the tools and contact us if you need anything. Again, just to review, our hours are Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can reach us at 1-866-697-2020 or email us directly at residentialsupport at 2020spaces.com. We can conclude our session for today. I've already addressed uh, how you can reach us, but in case uh, you, some, you send something in and it hasn't been replied to, so allow 24 business hours so that we can answer your chat questions if we didn't get to them. And as well, uh, you can choose to schedule a one-on-one -on -one session and just submit a request that way. So I will thank you for your time. I hope this helps.